All right, for real this time. Let's actually start the jungle town. Last we ended, we looked at a donut bagel horseshoe, or whatever it's called. Now these donut bagel horseshoe thingies, they are real, they're the hardest thing you could possibly collect in the game of Load Runner 2. Even harder than the extra lives. Extra lives are cake compared to these. These are true guide dang it systems. You have to do some really crazy stuff and outside of the box thinking to get to them. Right now I see that there is a fog uh, around the island except for one place and that tells me there might be an invisible platform there. So you know what? Right now I'm just going to focus on getting some of the gold and getting some of the items here and hopefully I might acquire enough stuff to figure out how to get over there. But anyway, it looks like I can't get over to that flying saucer now without a, uh, without a bomb. And there's a bomb on the left side. So I can take that bomb eventually to blow a hole there. But I first I want to... Actually, first I want to go up and uh, work my way down. So, wait a minute. Seems kind of oddly colored. There's an area back here with an extra life and a switch. Something phased in, but something did not phase out. That is the important distinction here, which means something indestructible phased in. Anyway, this monk doesn't appear to notice us, so let's take a chance to pill for some of the gold here. I'll wait for it to get a little bit further away before uh, attempting to grab that spherical bomb. All right. I can do a double dig here. I can mess up a double dig here. <laughs> Let's try that again. I can do a double dig here. I'm not doing too well today. I can do a double dig here <laughs> to get the... <clears throat> anyway. So let's just go over here on this little pedestal, get this gold and, uh-oh. Why is the monk coming after us? He was ignoring us last time we went up there, but he must have seen us when we went onto that little ledge or something. It looks like he's a lot harder. Oh no, no. Okay. All right. There's gotta be a way to do this. Um, maybe he, um, maybe he, maybe he'll just keep walking into the ladder. I mean, <laughs> that's kind of, uh oh, oh no, no. Whoo, whoo. That wasn't even close. But anyway, he's, he, we got him, we got him, we got him. Let's go down and get this gold. Oh, we had to fall in the hole again. I wonder where he's gonna respawn. Wait, right, right where I was? That's not fair. What? <sighs> anyway, let's go back to what we were doing. Back to normalcy. Anyway, so then we double dig here after getting the gold. Being well aware of the monk. All right, so he respawns in the middle. If you want to keep him off the rest of the level, we can't let him die. So let's try to be careful digging any holes. Ah, uh, I see what it was. It was that platform there. That platform there, standing on it, he sees you if he's close enough and then goes to the right side of the top area. But even on the ladder, he didn't see me, so it's just one square away that counts. I just realized I could have used a corner to jump instead of digging a hole, instead of risking letting the monk possibly die. Uh-oh. I actually hope he escapes in time. If he doesn't, this is going to be a really short trip. All right. Falling down there would not be in my best interest. There's no way out again. All right, we got the bomb and we got the gold. Now, to get here, if I just dig something, I'm not going to be able to run and grab all that gold. I'd have to make at least two trips. But I think I can do this actually in one trip. We have spherical bombs and we don't have any other place to use them. So, what I'm going to do is dig a hole here and place a bomb. Now, 
by the time those blocks got destroyed, I was already running, giving me just that little bit of extra time. See that just phased in right there? That small bit of extra time counted. I don't think without the bomb I would have been able to do that in one trip. The last thing is the gold and the donut. Now, I already flipped the switch again after I get eaten by the monk. So, there is an invisible path to the donut that requires you to first dig out one of those little pillars. This one in particular. That was not a sound effect that I added. That actually occurs in the game when you grab it. Now, how did I know there was an invisible path there? How did I know said invisible path wouldn't have even existed unless I flipped that switch? Well, um, I remember it from when I played it before, and I don't remember if I discovered it on my own or looked it up in a guide. Oh well. Oh my giddy aunt. There are three death monks in this level. The kid gloves are off. As of now, you are officially playing Load Runner 2. Alright, we have to think here. Um, killing a monk is not thinking. He's probably just gonna survive and climb the ladder. Monks are, the, the monks in this game are vicious, but they are morons. Very important distinction there. You think the monk is going to go down the ladder straight to you, but they tend to always want to swing off the ladder if they can, and then approach you from the side. That can really trick you up. Anyway, let's start focusing on this entire level. What are we doing here? All right, I've got three of these. All right, um, I need time to think. Okay, there's this area here. If I try to dig down and get that extra life, I am not going to be able to get out again. There's a small little ramble branch blocking my way out. The only way to get out of there would be to blow up that little uh, chiseled stone area along with that, that little inlet area where the piece of gold is. The best place to put a bomb would be where there is a bomb right now. And then there's a bomb on that island that we can't really get to. So it stands to reason that if there's no way to get to that bomb, then it's probably there for a reason and it's positioned in a way where it could set off the other bomb. Remember in the tutorial we were given chain reactions. If a bomb explodes and hits another bomb, it sets that bomb off. If we set off a bomb right in the right place, it'll start a chain reaction that will open up the pathway to get the gold, get the extra life, and get back. And then we can use one of the other bombs that we can find down there to blow a hole out of here. So we have a plan to go in, and we have a plan to get out. All that complicates matters is that monk. Now, the best thing we can hope for is to blow up the monk with a well-timed bomb. So, I've got to get into the zone. Time, lady. Perfect. So, now we are ready to start our chain reaction. So I let this bomb down. It's gonna blow through that, hopefully. Remember, bombs can't, bombs will be stopping at indestructibles, but they don't, they might not destroy the brambles, but they will fire through it. Unlike a completely undiggable block. All right, go for it. We still have a remaining bomb to get out of here. We'll use that bomb to blow a hole here to get to back to the hideouts. After that, it looks like we have a remaining piece of gold on that island with that monk that's apparently having a very interesting relationship with that ladder. I'm not going to judge it, all right? Okay, it's finally committed. Anyway, I'm going to hide here and start thinking for a moment. We have the entire right side, and we have that gold in the bottom. Let's get the gold on the bottom first. The monk is pursuing us. No, it isn't. It's once again having intimate relations with the Red Ladder. Of note, there's also a probability that when a monk dies, it will respawn on that little honeymoon island in the lower left corner. He's probably going to come down. Let's put a stop to that right now. And let's get going. We have... Alright, remember a, a few levels ago, I utterly failed. 
really completely, utterly failed to do something similar to this in one trip. Now I'm going to try to actually do it, except I don't think I can with just digging. But remember, we have three vertical bombs, and we have a monk on our tail that's making it hard for me to think, so give me a second. Saw it off. All right. If we dig out two of those indented blocks, then we'll have enough space to plant one of our, our vertical bombs. And when that vertical bomb explodes, well, you'll see. All right, good. I don't want to be killed by a, by a blue monk. This, like, we've escaped death from, like, the evil, super powerful monks, and then this little blind one's like, oh, dinner, I found you, I love you. And where's the exit portal? <sighs> okay, I think it was upstairs, and I hope we don't get eaten on our way up there. With these levels, especially how difficult they're getting, it's very important to note the exit door. I cannot tell you how many times I've gotten all the gold on the level and was like, okay, I forgot where the exit door was. When well, you're being pursued by monks, you really want to know where it is. Alright, what's this level entail? We've got a lot of wells that require us to dig out to get out of, so let's just start going now. I'm going to prepare. I hope I did not spend too long doing that. Um, Alright, barely made it up. Alright, we got to think fast. We don't have time to just sit around and start thinking, okay, we're going to hit here, okay, we're going to hit here. So what I'm going to do is um, buy some time and then dig a hole here and get those gold. So pretty much... All those other levels were training you to the kinds of things to look for so that in these levels you can think quickly and mess up and I'm going to have to get that gold later because of that because those monks are on my tail. So all those concepts you learned, now you have to take advantage of them while you're consistently being pursued by monks. Um, I think I screwed that one up. Um, <laughs> oh shoot. Okay. No, wait. I've got that. All right. There we go. And let, oh wait, no. I can't dig a hole there because it'll go into the... Wait, he, I cannot believe that actually worked. <gasps> um, well, that was slick movement. Let's hope I don't fuck it up now that I've pulled off something like that. All right, um, okay, those things in there. We can uh, dig over to, yeah, we can dig, wait a minute. Oh, no, I could have dug to the middle section and take, taken both gold at once. Too late now. That's just one of the problems when being pursued by monks because you don't have time to think. You might not be able to take the most optimal path if you end up in a bad position. And it looks like those monks are once... All right. Monks and ladders apparently get along very well. They really, really, really seem to like just messing around on the ladder. But that gives me time to actually think. So I'm going to dig out all four of these to... Wait, no, never mind. I'm just going to get this one. <laughs> all right. I'll get the other one on a second trip. <sighs> all right, and now for the second one. Technically, you could have gotten both of them at once, but while being pursued by monks, not the smartest idea. Now, it is very important to get that piece of gold for several reasons. Right now, one of the reasons will become apparent most likely shortly given the way the monk's AI works and given this way the level this level is designed. Basically, if you're good, you can trap a monk in a position where it cannot affect you the rest of the level, allowing you to have to deal with less of them. One such trap exists there, and we'll see it later. But first, I want to get this piece of gold here. I 
I don't think it's really necessary for me to explain the methods I use to get these pieces of gold, because at this point it's pretty much everything we've seen already, just more monks. More monks. Add more monks, add more monks, add more complexity, make you have to do it several times in a row. Now, monks and ladders seem, seem to get really confused. Like, right up here, if I stay right here, the monk tries to climb the ladder to get up to the Z plane without going the X and Y plane first. It's important to exploit that AI. By exploiting that AI, you can give us time to think. Right now, I'm going to double dig down here. Pay attention to the monk as I do this. He decides the best path is to fall into that little cubby area, and now one of the monks is stuck. He cannot move from there because that's an edge, and monks always obey the same rules. The only thing a monk can do is climb out of a hole you dug. That is the only special ability they have. Anyway, we better start getting these pieces of gold fast. So he's just gonna go down that ladder. Oh shoot! No! Oh, oh gosh! Oh my god! He almost okay. Mirrors. Well, this does have symmetry to it. Those monks are going to be stuck on those ladders as long as they stay here. Once I go down, they'll still be kind of stuck, and once I go down, they'll just be stuck at a different level. They're trying to stay on the same Z-plane, but they're not actually pathfinding properly. We're going to have to take advantage of that. So, we got all the gold at the top level, but we still need the rest of the gold at the bottom. I don't think I can let this monk die. I better start running now. I just noticed there's some bombs up there, but I, ha I haven't had time to get those because I'm gonna get eaten in a few seconds. And now they're ramming into each other. Okay, this is a more arcade style level in that the gold is very easy to get to. There's no real strategy here for getting the gold. The strategy is keeping all the monks at bay Right there, I shot where he was falling, where the other one was coming to, and then just for good measure in case he decided to walk around me. And remember, the monks can fall off a corner, and they will do that if that's the quickest way to get to you. And they will also go in the opposite direction of you if they decide to go derping. I've got a feeling that whoever designed this level put those ladders in such a way as to get this monk AI to be exploited. Okay, now he sees me. But... It looks like they're just running away from me, but this actually makes it harder because I can't tell when... Like, for example, right there, he doesn't go into the hall. He just stays there, and all those purple monks are trying to get to me, and they're probably very frustrated at that other guy. And now I'm very frustrated. They're all coming after me. It's... I don't think you can really run across three at once, so that bomb helped... Oh, that was good time. The bomb takes them out really quickly. I guess that's why the level gave you bombs. Yeah, just run into each other instead of going after me. Let me try to tend them in this direction so that I have a free access to that gold over there. So yeah, the bombs look like they're intended to help you with the monks and get the... Ah. Ooh, that was close. Whoa. like that bottom area is completely t uh, not accessible. If we want to get the extra bombs in the island, we can't exactly just go to the island and drop down and place a bomb there because that will blow away the ground where the ladder is and then we won't be able to access the ladder. So we're going to have to pre-drop the bomb from the hand over hand bar and then we'll get another one of those bombs once we go to the island along with a bomb that fires across a different axis. Looking at that central area where all the monks are, it looks like we're gonna need at least one of those bombs to get from one side to the other once we get down there because that block is uh, that just phased in is preventing us from using the ladders to get out. And we're gonna need another one to access the uh, end portal, which is 
stuck inside other blocks. So we're gonna need at least two X or Y axis bombs. Maybe there's some more over on this side. Also, I wonder what that, yeah, there was another bomb here, but it was a spherical one. Not sure what use it has at this point. Probably could be against the, um, the monks. But there's also an area in the center. You see where those two yellow ladders are? It, it looks like some kind of containment unit or something. Either way, there's four slots and there's four monks, so I wonder if they go there if they get killed. Now the decision, which bomb to use for this block? Well, I have two of one bomb and one of the other bombs. The vertical one can't hit it, and the uh, spherical one's probably gonna just break everything. So I'm gonna use the linear bomb that I have the more of. And it turns out I could have used a spherical bomb anyway because there's an undiggable right there. Oh well, I still want to keep the spherical bomb. However, it does seem like, yeah, I have exactly the number of bombs I'm going to need. The question is, where to approach? The last three gold pieces are down there. I go down here to get this gold piece, and then there's one gold piece on the left side and one gold piece on the right side, uh, right side towards the bottom. It's kind of hard to see. So what I'm gonna do is I think I can approach maybe from the ladder, and there should be a platform there with an extra life. It doesn't look like the monks can see me from down here. So I can approach them, whenever I feel like it. All I have to do is get up when they're far enough away and then dig a hole here and then another hole here. Oh, apparently that's undiggable, uh, that area right behind that thing, but that was horrible. He just split me in half. Like, like how freaking horrible rated E for every. Anyway, let's try that again with less fail. Let's take a quick break here before we return to normalcy. You see that little edge there? The undiggable kind of sticks out if you dig that part. So I guess it was a hint to tell you to dig there to let you know that that thing was actually undiggable because in addition to the little plate on the top, there's sometimes uh, these little edges on the sides of the undiggables that you can see from other vantage points that clue you in on the fact that that particular block is going to be undiggable. So let's try this again, only this time, let's blow them all to hell. I really need to time this properly. I want to get both of them in the same blast. And we'll also get to see if they actually respawn that central area. Yep. And this confirms that those things were undiggable. Notice how this ground here is still here that I just landed on? I would expect that to be gone because it doesn't look like it's undiggable. But maybe there's a hidden ladder on it or something. Normally this doesn't happen. Normally it's obvious what blocks are undiggable and which blocks aren't, but here it kind of threw you for a little bit of a loop. What I'm thinking of doing right now is if I can use a spherical bomb to blow this area up, I won't be able to cross it unless there's undiggables underneath and I don't think there is. I won't be able to cross it, but I might be able to get the attention of at least one of the monks. If I can get right up to the edge, maybe one of the monks will... Okay, good. I got one of the monks and is the other one coming? Yes, the other one is a oh, bugger. If I timed that better, I could have gotten them both without even having to go over to the other side. But there's only one to deal with, so I'm pretty sure I can do it. Um, I like approaching from this angle, and there we go. I could probably just run to the portal, but I want to play it safe because I'm a coward. Like I said, we need one remaining to get to this portal, and now we can. I 
going to start by tackling the gold back here. I'm not confident in my ability to grab it all and get back to the um, area I dug out of. And we're going to be coming back here anyway, so I'll just get some of them. Now, in order to make my way out of here, I'm going to need an extra space so I can dig out both of the blocks that those golds are standing on. So I have to dig inwards. Thankfully, we picked up a bomb on the way because that's the only way we're going to be able to get out of here. What I'm noticing is I can probably finish this level in two more trips. This first part, I really want to get that piece of gold that's kind of inlaid in there. And that's going to require digging three things out. And I'm probably going to have to dig them out to that little platform next to the red ladder. I should have enough time to do this before the monk climbs out of the hole. Once I fall in, the monk starts turning around because monks are kind of stupid. Oh, bugger, I forgot the edge. All right. Even after playing for so long, I sometimes still forget that I can't fall off of an edge. Okay, the monks respawn there. That's good. Nothing scarier than not knowing where a monk is going to respawn. Eight. This is where I can get the rest in one trip. If I dig out two blocks, I can uh, get those gold up there, run inside that little inlet area, and then there's nothing more I can do. I can easily dig down to the bottom, and there's nothing really blocking me. So it's pretty easy from here on out. It's just a little bit hard to see and gauge uh, whether you're in line with the holes because of how the level is orientated. see any of this level and there's no ladders oh there's no ladders so I can't come back up here again I have to get both of those pieces of gold in one trip I have no other choice now with some creative digging I could probably not have to use the vertical bomb but I want to use the vertical bomb if it turns out that we needed it later I can always restart and save it and not use it here, but why not? And we land here and we witness that that death monk doesn't give a fuck. The, uh, they just walk right in the path of their other monk friends. They just, there's, I mean, the blue monks I can understand. They can't see, but the black death monks. Anyway, let's hit the right side first. It looks like we can use the bomb over on the right side to, wait, no, hold on. We get trapped. If we take that bomb and we blow through there, we're going to use up all the bombs that we need in order to blast back through to the hideout hole. We can't use the bomb that they give us there because it's facing the wrong direction. And we can't make our way through the back area. Thankfully, there's a bomb over here that we can use to augment the number of bombs we have so we can actually now tackle the right side. And it looks like that the right side will then give us a bomb facing the right direction for us to be able to tackle the left side. So... That appears to be the uh, goal here. The level tries to kind of guide and trick you up to go to the right side before you're ready. But we are not going to fall for that trick because we are amazingly clever. Now I just have to get the monks out of the way so I can actually go to the right side. I got the feeling that I'm going to have to lead all these monks a very far distance away. I'm just going to go up here and uh, dig a straight line of a bunch of stuff and then witness the AI of the monk. Which is... I know the AI is kind of dumb, but I actually like it like that. There's actually an element of strategy in understanding how the AI's quirks work so you can exploit how the monks are going to move. Anyway... That one's going off, that one's automatically going off. We need to lay that other one quickly before the other blocks phase in, and we need to know exactly how far it lasts so we can stand just out of the reach. Oh, one of those monks respawned in that little prison. Good, that's one less problem we have to deal with. And we also got some mines. So, if the 
there's a monk on our tail, we can dispose of it a lot quicklier. A lot quicklier. Quicker. Quickly. Er. Quick. Bugger. Anyway. Waiting for that monk to get a little bit closer so I can... I'm not gonna waste my mines yet because I can get away with just digging right now. I suppose the mines are if the monk follows you while you're going on those hardwood areas. All right, so we can blast through this and then we have enough bombs to get that gold and then blast through the other area. Wait, no, we don't have to waste two bombs blasting through that. That's trying to trick us. We can just go here and blast through that. No, we can actually just dig here and then save both of the bombs which it turns out we actually need because that last piece of gold is stuck behind a pillar and a flower on the corner and we cannot easily approach it from the top without blasting that little thing there. And first successful mine laying of load runner outside of the tutorial. Speaking of the tutorial, um, I just remembered we haven't seen any outside of the big old donut horseshoe. We haven't seen any instances of switches or levers or plates at all so far. I'm starting to wonder if the jungle world even has any of these things. Then again, the uh, actual official uh, manual recommends the jungle world as being the best world to start on because it's easiest. Alright, looks like we've got another classical one. Big blocks, lots of gold. Oh, we have an invisible power up. I don't know if we need it or if it will just come in handy. Um, but either way, I want it. It's probably in case those two death monks corner you. Okay, anyway, let's dig into this hidey hole. This looks like a standard classical fair level. Some of the gold uses the same. Oh. My. Me. It's another donut. Bagel. Horseshoe. Anyway. That's now my main focus. And the extra life in there. Because they look hard to get. That donut is guarded and flanked by two blue monks. The only way to get past them is either, it, is either to find some way to get to the donut from the sides. Or use the Inviso power up. Which means if we want that donut. We're going to need to keep the Inviso power up. And if we're going to want to blow through those blocks, we're going to need that bomb. So, a quick scan of the level looks like all the other pieces of... Oh, dear. They he landed right where I was going. Let's give him some time to blow off. Um, still, I'm going to get some gold while I'm at it. Might as well. Although, I probably should wait until he gets out of the way. go down here and okay. <laughs> if I want to reach that extra life platform, I'm probably going to. I'm going to leave these monks down here for a second where all the undiggables are because that's a safe place to be. But yeah, from here I can clearly see that in order to get to the donut, I'm going to have to... Oh, well, that was close. I'm going to have to drop a bomb uh, in and run through and dig another... Okay. I'll figure it out when I get there. For now, let's try to focus on how we're going to not use that bomb because it looks like in order to get the gold that's uh, to the right and below in this little area, we need to use a bomb because that gold is so far down, there's no way we can dig all the way to it. But if we dig like this, Then we can exploit the ladder to dig the rest of the way, thus saving us from having to use a bomb to get to this gold. I could fall in the donut right now, but I'd be trapped. Thus saving us from having to, yeah, 
we don't have to actually use a bomb to get it. So now we can use the bomb here and, uh, wait a minute. Is there a ladder? What's that yellow ladder doing there? Is that part of how we get the donut? I don't know. And anyway, the monks are out of the way. So, it's now or never. Let's go and get this thing. Dig here to drop the bomb. Dig here to get out because that plant's in the way. I hope I don't activate Invisible at the last moment. I am a sucker for drama. Wait, is there a gas can there? There's a gas can underneath the red ladder where the, the monks were. Anyway, there might be another way to reach the donut that I'm not aware of using that yellow ladder and the gas can, but that works just as fine. Anyway, we've got the donut. Let's focus on the rest of the level, which in this case would be the extra life that I want to get as well. Okay, good. They can't follow me down here. Another thing to notice about this level is the way the monk AI works. Um, if you are paying attention, you will notice that the monks like to fall off the corners, like that monk up the top there, take to take a shortcut. So one way to get past the monks is to drop down, let them drop down, and then climb the ladders back up again. One way to control them. See here? Oh, well, you got knocked down that way, so I can't actually pull it off there, but, um... Yeah, this was just a classic dig em. I really don't want to get eaten here because I just pulled that donut off pretty well. So let's take a brief reprise from down there since that's where the end portal is so we can get that piece of gold last. Alright, how to get the gold down there. Oh, we can utilize the same technique we used to get those other pieces of gold without requiring a bomb. So we just dig that out and then we use the ladder and... Um... Unfortunately, the WASD controls always seem to get me on the ladders. Like, they, they, I can, I intuitively understand them. Okay, there I just used the monk falling in order to uh, climb up the ladder and get past it. But um, the WASD controls feel intuitive for going in across landscape. But for some reason, when climbing a ladder, it's like my brain shuts down and I get mixed up. So, unfortunately, ugh. Okay, let's make sure I got my controls right this time. Alright, let's just fall there. Okay, they're gonna fall down, and then we're gonna climb up. We're gonna get that last piece of gold, and we're gonna get out of this level. I figure I don't need to actually explain what I'm doing that much anymore. I think if you've watched the uh, LP this far, you can kind of already figure out most of the pass to get the gold, and if you don't, you'll figure out when I finally actually get it. Wait, what am I doing? Oh yes, I'm doing this again. Why? Because the donut bagel has another way of accessing it. The way I used was the way that made the most sense to me. It's visible, for one, and for two, it's, I guess it's just what I came up with first. Um, but if you recall, we had a gas can up here behind one of those blocks and we had a yellow ladder that was uh, in the bottom somewhere once we dug away a, a block. So it stands a reason that maybe there's an alternate way to get the donut and it turns out there is. You need to at least have the bomb from you need to at least have the bomb from the top area. So you do have to do the special digging uh, way to get the gold without launching the bomb. Uh, you don't need the Inviso technically um, because it's not relevant to get the donut in this form, but it's going to be relevant to get away from the uh, Death Monks, and that's the first time a Death Monk's ever chased me down that way. Oh well. Anyway, the point is, the way to access the donut, the other way to access the donut, is to go up here and just like in Jungle Town where there was this hidden area that you couldn't see, um... There's this hidden area where you can't see. So I'm gonna collect this gold, but I'm gonna dig out this block here, and it turns out I fall right in there. And this is why you don't need the Inviso to get the donut in this way. I collected a bomb when I dropped down. 
Now, that bomb with the gas can is enough to break all those uh, blue monks immediately. And then I can get the donut. I don't even think they respond. But I can't get out. So, in order to get out, and this is why you need to bring that bomb from before, because you get a bomb down here, but you need two bombs to escape, to, um, one to get the donut and one to escape. If I just move around back here, I'm in this little tunnel area that doesn't have very much mobility. There's no uh, easy access out, um, there's no bombs vertical that I can go up, there's no hidden ladder here, but where's the hidden ladder? Where those two monks are making out over there. So, we have to get over there, and this is why I also decided to pick up the Inviso Power Up, because I kind of really need it to get past the monks uh, when I go here. Of course, I could probably dig my way out, but I didn't want to waste the Inviso, but the Inviso just seems like the easier option. Personally, I prefer my way better, because it's like, here's this Inviso Power Up, and here is this bomb, and you can either forego both of them to get the donut, or you can keep both of them to make it easier for you to finish the level. And the way to get the donut's a little bit more obvious. But that's the professional way to do it, so we'll do it that way. Anyway, so there's one more thing I have to do. I have to update the guy, dang it, page. Turns out there's no entry for Load Runner 2, especially with the donuts. So I think it's a strategy game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go edit the page here. I gotta, I gotta add Load Runner 2, come on. Uh, the donuts in Jungle Town especially. Oh, well, I have to log in first. Um, all right, well, I'm just going to, uh, my username is obviously going to be goddess, what the? No! Well, guess I won't be updating it then.